Hey guys, what's up? This is MLC, and we are back for another episode of Monster Hunter Stories 2. I almost said Rise. Um, we were at Navaru last episode. It kind of glitched again. I think it's when I recorded it keeps glitching in the cutscene specifically. Because it doesn't do it in the other cutscenes, just the main regular cutscenes, but yeah. It's dangerous. Stand back. We are in a battle with the Yulu Yaku. Yulu Yaku, I think is what it's called. Yeah. And I don't know what kind of power it has. I'm going to guess it's most likely a tentacle. So let's do power. Kulu up to lot to carry things around in their claws. Huh. You sure know your monsters, don't you? So I think he chose um speed. So we want to do He was a tentacle, so he wanted to power. And I love how they introduced the Kuluyaku. He was in World First, Oshi. And then it came to Rise, and now it's in this game. Now we Fine. I wonder if it's going to use that rock to block all your attacks. You're right. Guess we've got to do something about the rock first, then. Oh, no, it's just like in the regular games where he blocks your attacks. In that case, that weapon you're using now is not going to do a lot of good. Time for a blunt weapon. Here, take this hammer. Received iron hammer. You can switch to a different weapon even in the middle of battle. Such skills can hit switch weapons. Alright. Now we can do a power attack. Aha! <laughs> Blood attack! I think this is gonna work! Keep on smashing and bashing, newbie! Parts and physiology. Physiology and attack type efficiency. The physiology of large monsters may differ, which affects how effective slash blunt or pierce weapons are against them. Switching weapons. You can equip three different weapons to switch between in battle. Toggle weapons using X or from skills in the battle menu. Try attacking with different weapons to find out which weapon type is most effective against the monster's physiology. Breaking parts. Completely drain a monster's parts gauge to break it. You can receive drop items for breaking parts at the end of battle on a V map. Breaking parts may knock down a monster or prevent it from using certain skills. Okay. Try attacking a body part with different weapons. When you find an effective weapon, use it to break that part. Use the wrong voice for a little bit. Okay, so we want to do that one. Wow. 
Wow, it's tough. Nice hit, buddy. You broke it. And there's a shiny thing right there. All attacks on a down opponent will be critical hits. They're more likely to drop items, too. So fight real monster. You're right there, monster. Your kinship gauge is maxed out. Now's your chance to ride on. Riding makes your bond stronger, but be careful, you'll get knocked up if you lose too much in head-to-head. -head. Don't worry. Riding. Riding in battle. You can ride your monsters once your kinship chase is filled up. Riding, discover riding recovers the monster's health by an amount equal to its rider's health, and fully restores HP for the rider. It also boosts attack and defense. Items are usable in riding as well. Kinship skill and level. Powerful kinship skills can only be used when riding. Winning a head-to-head -head while riding raises your raises your kinship level, making kinship skills even stronger. Dismounting. You will automatically dismount after using a kinship skill. If your HP drops to zero, or if you lose a head-to-head -head twice, you will be knocked off your monster, but you won't lose any hearts. Double kinship skill. Using a kinship skill simultaneously with a battle buddy results in a powerful double kinship skill that has all opponents. Okay, time to show this monster the power of teamwork. Way to go, you defeated the Kuru Yaku! Alright. That was positively claudacious, buddy! Alright, now we're on the results menu screen. And with that being said, let's end the episode off here. If you liked it, don't forget to like, comment, and hopefully subscribe, and maybe hit that bell for notifications if you want to see more Monster Hunter stories, too. Um, and yeah, we will be doing more episodes soon, so please stay tuned, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and hope you see more of these videos. Anyway, bye guys!